One more maximum we know. Simplify. 50 to the power 50 divided by 25 to the power 25. This fraction is a little bit horrible, but I have a very easy trick to deal with it. Now, think about how many numbers are here. Of course, two. There are 50 and 25. And what about their relationships? I think most of you must have noticed that 50 is 2 times 25. So this is the key to deal with this question. I'm going to try letting these two exponents have the same value. Since 50 is 2 times 25, it can also be written as 25 then plus 25. So let's write it. The numerator 50 to the power 50. Let's regard this exponent 50 as 25 then plus 25. And then the denominator it is very good 25 to the power 25. It is not so big as 50 to the power 50. I'm going to try letting these two exponents have the same value, of course, 25. We have to use a formula. That is, a to the power of m then plus n is equal to a to the power of m then times a to the power of n. Very good. And then, here, a is 50. M is this 25, and N is this 25. So our next step is going to be 50 to the power of 25, and then times the base 50, the exponent 25. Very good. All divided by 25 to the power of 25. Still here. The exponent, 25, 25, and 25. Almost successful. As our next step, because here appear two times of 50 to the power of 25. So let this denominator belong to one of them. That means, I would like to write this huge fraction as a small fraction and then times an integer. So that means I'm going to write 50 to the power of 25 then divided by 25 to the power of 25 first and then times 50 then to the power of 25. They have the same exponents, the denominator and the numerator. This formula could help you. So now what we're going to do is, let this 25 jump out from the bracket. So it is going to be like 50 divided by 25, all to the power of 25, and then times 50 to the power of 25. This number, although it is very huge, please ignore. Just pay attention to this guy. 50 divided by 25. We've already said that 50 and 25, they have a very good relationship, that is, 50 is 2 times 25. That means the value of this fraction is 2. So it is 2 to the power of 25 and then times 50 to the power of 25. They have the different bases, but they have the same exponent. So we have to use another formula, remember. That is a to the power of m and then times b to the power of m. It is equal to a times b is the base and they have 
m as the exponent. So this formula could help us with our next step. Go on. So it is a is 2 beats 50 and m is 25. So it is a times b 2 times 50. Very easy. It is 100. The exponent is 25. Now, have we done? Definitely no. Because this space, 100. I don't like it. Everybody knows that. It is equal to 10 squared. So it is 10 to the power of 2 and then also to the power of 25. So in our today's lesson, you have to use a lot of formulas. Annoying, isn't it? Our fourth formula is a to the power of m and then also to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m, then times n. Of course, it is also equal to a to the power of n, then also the power of m, but it is not necessary for this question. So our last step is 2 times 25, the multiplication of these two numbers is 50. So our answer is 10 to the power of 50. So what's our final answer? 10 to the power of 50. Do you get it? And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos. And we'll see you next time. Bye bye.